What's going on you guys, Uncle Jesse here. As some of you might know, I'm a huge Magneto fan. And I'm talking old school X-Men, Jim Lee style Magneto, not these new movie representations of Magneto. I'm talking this really badass looking Magneto from the comic books. I was lucky enough to actually go off and build a replica costume from, you know, a mishmash of the comics to things that I've found in most recent modern statues of Magneto and make a costume that I was able to wear at New York Comic Con a few weeks ago. What I'd like to do is give you guys a video breakdown of each of the costume components in its own standalone video. This way, it's not a huge, long 30 minute video of me detailing out how I made each specific component of the costume. This way it's a little bit more digestible and someone that's looking to build something similar or replicate this costume can very much zero in on the specific areas or components of the actual costume. So this include things like how I found a pattern and went and did sewing for the first time, which was absolutely a huge uphill learning process and I'm excited to do it again soon. We'll also have videos breaking down all of the different components that were 3D printed for this costume. Obviously, I do a lot of 3D printing here, so I wanted to include some 3D printing into this actual build. And so this will include all the different paints and techniques that I use to actually finish some of these parts. We'll also be looking at some of the other detailed accessories, like the footwear, the gloves, and even things like how I went off and found a dancer's belt to wear underneath the costume to make sure I wasn't scaring anybody while wearing this around on the con. <laughs> also, while I was at New York Comic Con, I was lucky enough to have interviewed with Adam Savage over at Tested, talking specifically about my building of this Magneto costume. And hopefully that's available and live here in one of these corners for you to actually go and check out if you haven't seen that already. Or maybe you actually have already watched that video and have found your way here to see a little bit more details about how I made this costume. But today, what we're gonna be focusing on here is this 3D printed Magneto helmet that I went off and made and I absolutely love. So before I talk to you guys about the 3D printed Magneto helmet, I need to take you guys back seven years this is a helmet that I originally made as part of my original YouTube channel. I actually had another channel that I had started with where I was documenting my Pepecura journey, starting to make replica props using paper and Bondo and fiberglass, all sorts of craziness. And yeah, this is basically where it ended up and I never ended up finishing it sadly. And it weighs an absolute ton compared to my 3D version of the helmet. But it's really cool for me to see these side by side and just see how far technology and techniques have come. So I 3D printed this helmet actually about two years ago. I had Colonius over at Villainous Props design this file specifically for me based off of a whole bunch of Jim Lee style designs that I found online where I really wanted a classic comic book style Magneto helmet. And yeah, I ended up printing this over on the CR-10 using Ziltec filament. And then over the last handful of months decided, hey, you know what? New York Comic Con's rolling around and I need to finish this helmet. So I ended up using a lot of wood filler and primer and just sanding the living daylights out of this to get it as absolutely smooth as possible. And again, it was just a lot of going from 100 grit to 120 to 200, more primer, more sanding, more Bondo spot putty I was using a lot of, more wood filler where needed at that point. I didn't end up using any XTC 3D on this helmet and I actually regret that because I now have a gash on the side of the helmet where I was at New York Comic Con. I was holding the helmet and I almost dropped it and one of the gauntlets that I was wearing, which is 3D printed, dug right into it as I tried to catch the helmet. I also ended up incorporating magnets into the helmet. So before I got too far into the build, I ended up drilling out some holes in the helmet. I knew I wanted the crest to be removable and actually swappable. So that was a really good thing that I did that because I ended up making two different crests for the con. The one that I wore for the majority of the show was actually a slightly different variation than the one that's on the helmet right now. And unfortunately, I had an accident where I was getting out of the taxi cab and I just knocked the helmet, I think, and I ended up shattering the actual helmet, or the, the crest, I should say, into pieces. 
All of the crests were resin 3D printed as well. And I was really excited to incorporate resin 3D printing into this just because I've been doing so much of that and I'm loving the technology and the details that you can get out of it. And not to mention, I think I'm gonna end up reprinting this helmet all in resin. So that'll be a really cool video that I'll be following up on as well. After I ended up just wet sanding and sanding the living daylights out of this helmet, I ended up applying some metal cast to this. So there's red metal cast and purple metal cast, and they have a base coat that you can lay down, which is this chrome metal cast paint that'll actually help prime it and give it that nice metallic base coating. One thing that I was not aware of is that I could have actually gone through and done all of those steps at one time. So I could have done the base chrome coating, then the red, and then actually clear coated this. And once that dried, taping off the actual details around the helmet, which I ended up doing, and then doing chrome, purple, and then clear coating. So I, I would have ended up saving a lot of time and steps if I would have known that and properly read the can and instructions online for Metalcast. So anybody that's looking to do this or use Metalcast products for one of their builds, you can pretty much apply those consecutively as long as you're giving the paint enough time to dry. Anybody that's interested in making your own Magneto helmet, if you're not planning on traveling with this or you're not just trying to be slick and incorporate magnets into the actual crest itself, I would really recommend just welding the crest onto the helmet because you're really at risk of this thing falling off or someone bumping into it and knocking it loose and it falling to the ground and breaking. And it's painful, absolutely painful when that happens. But thankfully, again, I had a backup, a spare that I was able to jump in and put back on here and get back up and running very quickly. And here it is with the helmet on. Just to be aware, it's a little warm when you're wearing these <laughs> helmets. Any sort of helmet, you're gonna be sweating a lot in. So keep that in mind. I ended up putting also a little piece of foam here. This ended up working out really well while I was at New York Comic Con, SKS Props was there promoting their HD foam and a partnership that they have with Blick Art and were selling foam at the convention and I desperately needed some foam inserts here for my helmet. So hopefully this video was interesting or helpful for anybody out there that's looking to create a replica costume for cosplay for a character that they're interested in, or more specifically, Magneto. Maybe you're looking to build your own Magneto helmet. I'll have links down below to Villainous Props and this actual file for you to go off and print and pick up for yourself. And I'll also include some links down below to some of the printers I'm using and the materials that I use as part of this build. And stay tuned because I will be again putting out more videos specifically on the different components of the actual costume and each of those different build aspects that I covered over the last handful of weeks and numerous, numerous, numerous hours and even late nights leading up to the day of the con in New York City. So, hey, thanks again for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye now.